Melanie from Melanie's Muses here, where I muse about things in the entertainment world that are entertaining to me, and sometimes the other weird and random video as well. But whatever I'm musing about, hopefully you guys stay along for the ride. Today I'm back with Mail Call Monday, which is a new segment for 2021 where I go over some of the Amazon Vine mail calls that I get during the week. Some are fab finds, some not so much. Either way, you get to hear my honest thoughts about them and decide if maybe they are something you would like or whether they are just a big no from you. If you've missed any of the other previous Mail Call Mondays, you can get details in the playlist up here. But for now, let's get to this week's Mail Calls. First up this week is an LED therapy lamp. Yep. You heard me right, a therapy lamp. Up here in Western New York, we do have some fairly long winters with pretty short days. And although I never thought I'd be one that suffered from seasonal affective disorder, because I have to say I love being in the dark, I'm definitely an in the dark sort of person, I decided to give this a try because the office that I'm working in is pretty dark. There's very little natural light that comes in. And you know what guys? I kind of love it. So this is what the light looks like out of the box. It does have to stay plugged in in order for it to work. It has a USB cord that you just plug in and I have it actually normally sitting up on my computer desk. I will take a picture of where I have it placed. Because I say you can use it sort of like an extra window. It doesn't have to be directly in front of you, which is good for me because I really don't like bright lights in my face. It does have this little stand that you just pop on and that allows it to stand up on the desk. But it has several settings. You have, you can just put it on. You can set a timer for 15, 30, 45, or an hour. Yep, just touch it, pops on. You can see how bright that is. Now you can adjust the brightness on this. It's meant to represent daylight. So, yeah, you can see, I mean, this is a small little lamp, but it definitely puts off a whole lot of light. It is as bright, I would say, as a big full-size window. It's made a huge difference in my office. There's a button so you can actually adjust the brightness, because that is very, very bright, as you can tell. Long you hold it, the dimmer it goes until it's pretty much down to dim. But yeah, so I mean this is still on, so this would still be giving you a certain amount of the rays that you're supposed to get. Guys, I was really impressed. I was really surprised at the difference this made. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna turn it off. Button. Off it goes. So yeah, I use that in my office now. It's just up on my desk. Like I said, I'll put a picture up of what it looks like where I have it set. So I checked the price, they're about $30. There's a lot of different options out there though if it is something that you are interested in. There are ones that are cordless, there are ones that are bigger. But for me, the room that I use for my office isn't huge, but it is a pretty decent size. And I would say that definitely gives as much light as a regular size window. That particular brand cost $30. I didn't think that was too bad. I'm sure there are other ones out there that are cheaper. Some of these things like you do pay for what you get. So I would say double check the reviews. This one had good reviews, I'm giving it a good review. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have anything like that? Does anyone out there suffer from the seasonal affective disorder? You know, I don't think I did, but I definitely feel benefits from using this, so it's a thumbs up for me. And on to product two. So product two is another sort of light object. Well, I guess not really. This is more of a light blocking object. These are blue light blocking glasses. Now I know there are filters you can put on your phone and there are screens you can get for your computer. I actually got a screen for Emily's computer when she came home because she was having to do so much more work online. I have tried the setting on my computer. I was not overly impressed with it. I felt it changed the colors too much for me to see what I was doing to work with. But these little blue light glasses, I really love. I'm gonna pop these on so you can see them. Do I look super smart now with my glasses on? Super smart. My mum loves these. When she calls and she saw me wearing them, she's like, oh, I love your glasses. I was like, literally, they're just blue light glasses. But thanks. And these are actually designed for children. They have a really cool little thing on the side. Now, I have a small head, so I have trouble finding glasses that fit. I do have proper glasses for distance. And I end up having to buy kids' frames because my head apparently is pretty small. But these are adjustable on the side. You guys see that? This little earpiece just slides along and you can literally adjust it to however you want to fit. Now there are adult versions available if you've got a bigger head. Especially for comfort reasons, it's really nice to be able to move these around. So like for me, I have this sort of set right in the middle and they fit me perfectly. So, and I have noticed a difference. My headaches have been better with the blue light glasses on. And they are so comfortable that I actually forget that I'm wearing them and I walk around with them and I'm like, you've got your blue light glasses on. It's like, oh yeah, 
And the thing I really like about these is they don't affect my color perception too much, which I do find that is an issue like with the blue light filters on the phone. I have it on because I know it's important. When I'm working on the computer, I really need to be able to see what colors are actually showing to me, especially on my videos. These ones come in a variety of different colors. This is the purple one, which is kind of cool because purple is sort of the muse's color. They're $14.99, which I really didn't think was too bad. I haven't done much looking around though to see what kind of prices blue light glasses regularly come in at. Like I said, these are aimed towards children, but they come in a nice little pouch to keep them in when you're not wearing them, although I'll be honest, it's probably the first time they've gone back in there for when I was doing the video. They literally just sit on the computer desk or on my face. Those are the two places where they normally are. But let me know what you think. You know, do you use the blue light screening on your phone or on the computer? Do you find it changes the color for you? I mean, either way, I just thought these were really cool, so I wanted to share them with you. But yeah, can't wait to hear what you guys think of them. And with that, let's go on to product three. So product three, and I know what you're going to say, is like, oh my goodness, it's more eye masks. I am a sucker for eye mask products. I can't help it. And these ones are particularly good because they help fight eye fatigue. If you've been looking at the TV too long, if you've been looking at the computer screen too long, if you've been looking at your phone too long, you, know, you get that sort of eye fatigue, and they're just sort of achy and tired. Now, I will confess, these come, you can't tell from the packet what these are going to be. It's all in Chinese. I'm assuming it's Chinese, it might be Japanese, don't shoot me if it's, I picked the wrong language. Even the instructions are not in English, which I was a little like, do I really want to put these on my eyes? But I'm so glad that I did. This comes in a pack of 15. So there's 15 pairs in here, I'm going to grab one out. And as you can see, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same as is on the box. No instructions, although there is like picture instructions. But these are one and done uses, so I'm gonna open these and then after this I'm actually gonna probably go and put these on my eyes. Because I don't want to waste them. But here they are, this is what they come as. I know, they look kind of strange. And they smell like tea, which I'm not a big tea person, but you remember back in the day, well, some of you will, Jill, I'm sure Jill will remember. Back in the day, your mum used to say, if your eyes were bothering you, you put your wet tea bags on your eyes and you lay there and it's supposed to help like soothe them. That's what these are like. So there you get, obviously in the pack, Ooh, those should be around the other way. And I'm not gonna put them on my eyes exactly right now because it will ruin my makeup, but you just lay them on your eyes when you're, and then lay back, put your head back. And they only take 15 minutes to work. I'm definitely a fan of things that you don't have to wait around four hours to find results for. And you know what guys, after the 15 minutes, your eyes do feel refreshed. So I guess you could use them after a long day. I've actually used them in the middle of the day when I've sort of just taken a break and my eyes have been bothering me, maybe I've got a headache, stick these on. I really love them. And even better, they're only $13 right now on Amazon. I get 15 cents in the box. That means like this little thing is less than a dollar a go. You can't beat that, and it works. Do I wish they had the instructions in English? I think that would probably be a huge selling point for them. Because I know people can be super wary, I can be super wary about things that are not necessarily made in the USA. But I gave these a try and I'm so glad they did. And if you like the smell of tea, then that's a real bonus. It's supposed to be like tea and something else. And I don't know what the something else is, but it's sort of herby. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's really pleasant. Not overly fragrant, but just, it's very calming. I don't like calming. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna give them a try? Or does the all not English writing thing put you off? It's okay if it does. Again, I'm gonna put these back in there because they're really wet too, so I don't put them down or anything. But yeah, 15 minutes and done. Okay, ready for the last product for today? The last product for today is a lip mask that you're supposed to sleep in. Okay, yeah, I think lip mask is a little bit of an exaggeration. It comes in an intensive little lip treatment box. You can see that. And inside, inside you have, this is what it comes with. It's like a two-sided little pot. One side, which is the darker of the two pinks, this one is a scrubber. And then this one, and you can see this one almost has like a white finish around it. This one has a clear finish around it. This is the lip scrubber and this is the lip treatment. So you put the lip scrubber on, give it a rub. I use my finger, I'm not gonna do it right now because I smell my lipstick everywhere. But you put this on, give it a scrub, and it takes off the top layer of dead skin. And it tastes pretty good too, which is always a bonus. But I don't think you're supposed to sort of lick it, but it's not harmful if you do. So then once you've done that, 
You put the lighter color one on. And again, I use my finger, they give you this little thing. Maybe some people don't like using their fingers. But I guess if more than one person would be using it, it'd probably be gross to use your fingers. But I feel like only one person would use this, so. I'm the only one using it in this house. But yeah, so you put this on and it feels just like, just like a lip balm. Nice and smooth and shiny and it literally doesn't feel any different than a lip balm. It doesn't feel particularly sticky. But you put this on and then you leave it overnight and it's an overnight mask. Well, that mask is a weird word because you don't have to take it off. And it definitely leaves your lips feeling softer. We have really harsh winters up here with cold and the wind and all of that stuff. And this really works. I've only used it a couple of times, but I was really impressed with it. So I wanted to jump on and let you guys know about it. It's $9. I don't know where that sits in the realm of how much these things kind of cost. I've literally never heard of a lip overnight mask before. I've had the little lip scrubber things that you use, you know, with the little beads in that scrub your lips off, or I use a toothbrush quite often because I'm not very beauty blogger minded and toothbrush sure, you know, that works pretty well. And then I usually just use like chapstick or lip balm, sometimes a medicated lip balm, but I suppose it's probably comparable price wise and it does look really cute. Comes with like a little thing and it's in a pretty box. So it'd be a really cute little stocking stuff, I don't know, anywhere near Christmas, I keep coming up with these stocking stuff and things, and yeah, eight dollars. I really like it. See, it's a cute little thing. Just pop it by your bed, scrub it on. You don't have to wipe the stuff. I guess you can wipe it off with a tissue or whatever afterwards. I haven't bothered. Usually the little bees just sort of disintegrate. But yeah, so there you have it. Little lip balm thing. Little lip mask. Different. But I like it. And that wraps up today's mail calls. Huge thank you if you stuck around to see what I was talking about today. Please be sure to do all the fun YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Especially comment. Let me know if any of the products sort of appeal to you. Amazingly, this week I have four products that I really liked and recommend. Doesn't happen that often, but they were the good ones this week. Everything else was just kind of not the sort of stuff that I think would be very interested in videos, but I had, you know. And so that's what I went with to show you. So yeah, well, let me know in the comments. Of course, if you want to come and chat with me, I'm sort of still sporting half of my look, but I have them Facebook Live today. I'm live on Facebook with my husband Greg every Sunday at noon Eastern time. You never know what's going to happen, but one thing for sure, we have a giveaway every single week. You enter the giveaway just by turning up and chatting with us. How cool is that? All the cool people are chatting with us in the comments every Sunday at noon Eastern time, so if you're a cool person, you should be there. Because if not, you're probably off doing something else. You should also check out my website, melaniesmuses.com, for even more features, including all my latest vlogs, music lists, music features, guest features, reviews, giveaways, always new stuff going on on the website, melaniesmuses.com, and you can keep you up to date with absolutely everything. And of course, make sure you click that little notification bell and join me back here next time to see what I'm musing about. Who knows what the next video will be? The only things you can count on in 2021 are Mail Call Mondays and Forgotten Feature Fridays, Zoom calls on Wednesdays when I have one available and other weird and random things just as I feel like it. Got a request? Let me know. Always happy to accommodate if I can. And with that, I hope to see you next time. Bye.